I'm making this video just to show people how intelligent snakes really are. Um, Sunny, I came in and sat down in the chair right in front of her enclosure. And for an hour now, she has covered every inch of this glass tank with her nose, trying to find a weak spot because she's trying to get out to come out and be with me and be handled. Well, she was laying there resting when I walked in and sat down. As soon as she realized I was in here, she went on a mission trying to find a weak spot in the tank so she can get out. Which they don't because I learned a long time ago to keep a brick on each corner. But she's doing everything she can to find a way to get out so she can come out and be with me. But people think they're stupid animals. They're not actually. They're quite resourceful. But she's on a mission to try and figure out how to get out. So I know she's sitting there and she hasn't taken me out yet. So I'm going to figure out how to get out so I can go with her with her. And she's working on trying to figure out how to get out. She's already made her rounds over here in this corner. Trying to push around the bricks and around the back of the hide. But she's on a mission to figure out how to get out. And that's not a dumb animal. And that's not an animal that isn't aware of what it's doing and what it's trying to achieve and what it's trying to accomplish. And Sunny's on a mission trying to get out so she can come over here and come out with me. I thought people find that interesting because so many people think snakes are stupid and oblivious to their environment. They really are not. They're quite intelligent animals. Like I said, they're very resourceful. She's still on a mission. She's testing every spot in this tank. Top and bottom and sides and front and back. Trying to find a weak spot so she can push her way out. That's why I keep bricks on top of them. You might think a five foot ball python is not that strong. But they can get out. They're very strong animals. I've had mine get out several times. That's why I use bricks on them. Those little lock on latches they have on tops for tanks totally worthless against a ball python or another snake that's anything over two or three feet they can snap those right off they're useless totally she's still on a mission trying to figure out how to get out what's the matter can't get out over here to be with me i gotta figure out how to get out i want to go with her and see my mom and she won't take me out well, she was resting. Still wasn't moving anything till she saw me sit down beside her enclosure. And this is what she's doing. She's on a mission to try and find a weak spot to get out. Very interesting for people that think they're stupid. They know what they want. They're not dumb. Right now, she wants to come out and be near me. And as soon as I walk out of here and stay out of sight for a few minutes, she'll calm back down. But as long as I'm sitting here and she can see me, she's going to be going till she can figure out how to get out. And yeah, I will reward her later. I'll take her outdoors so she can roam around a little bit. She's putting forth a lot of effort to get out. But she was content sitting here in this enclosure until she saw me walk up and sit down in front of her. What's the matter, son? You can't figure out how to get out? Huh? It's that lady sitting there teasing me and she won't take me out. Pretty interesting. And they're determined. They're one headstrong, determined animal. Persistent. If they want something, they're on a mission to get it. Like she's checking every inch of this tank trying to figure out how to get out. What's the matter, Sonny? See, Mama won't take me out. She mean. Okay, we're going to try another approach now. Let's go see if I miss something over here in this corner. Uh, she's going to come over here. I'm sitting right on the floor, right in front of her. She's like, all right. 
I know there's got to be a way to do this. She's going to go in and try to go through the hide box to see if she can get out. They are thinking animals. They really are. People don't think they are, but they're seriously thinking animals. Now, you take a reticulated python or a Burmese python. They're a thinking machine. That's all they do is calculate and plan. Of course, they depend on their instincts. But they think... And they plan everything they do for the most part. Snakes do have a thinking process. Oh, you stop. You saw me sitting here right in front of you. Now you're going to, she's going to pout now and try to beg me to take her out. What? Huh? That lady won't bring me out. Now she's going to try this end again. So I'm going to go up here and see if I can push those bricks off the top. So I can get out up here. Or she's going to get on the hide box and try to use her body strength as leverage to try and push the top up. That's what she's doing. She's calculating and thinking and trying to resolve a problem of how she can get out of here so I can handle her. And that's what she's going to do. She's going to go up here and work on the top. Try to figure out a way to move these bricks out of the way. I'm going to show you how well I know my snakes. This is, comes from spending a lot of time observing them and working with them. Now she's got to do everything she can to figure out a way. Might be a little lengthy video, but just, it's worth it to me to show people that these animals are not stupid animals. Okay, now I'm on the hide box. I got a little bit of body leverage up here. I should be able to heave that top up. That's what she's thinking. I got my body strength up here because I got some leverage. But it's not working, is it? I'll try a different way now. It's not working, is it? They never cease to amaze me. I love watching them because I, I see this intelligence in them and I see emotions in them because I spend that much quality time with my snakes that I see these things. People that never take their snakes out and handle them and work with them naturally wouldn't see what other people do that do invest a lot of time with them. But they're not the dumb animals that people portray them to be. I don't know about this end. I tried those bricks already. I don't want to rub my nose and hurt my nose. You gonna go back over there and try that end again? This is all just so she can come out and be with me because she saw me sitting here. She's not even paying me any attention now because she's on a mission to figure out how to get out because she wants to be out with me. Did you give up? Did you give up? Oh, she turned around and looked at me. Here we go again. Darn it, I want to be out with my mom. Tongue going. No, she's not hungry. She just ate yesterday. She's on a mission to get out because she sees me sitting here by her. Stupid animals? Not at all. People say, well, they can't be too smart if they bite themselves when they're eating food. And that's not because they're stupid. It's because they're overzealous and they have a very strong feeding aggression. That's what happens when, that's what causes snakes to accidentally bite themselves. If they smell a feeder on their skin and they're in 
feeding mode, they will bite because they smell the scent of the rat or mouse on their skin. And it's really hard to explain exactly how hyper and instinct driven a snake really is when it's in a feeding frenzy, which is what I consider it because they are as sweet as they can be and as great a companion as they can be when they're eating. They're in a whole different world. They're totally different. Oh, she's trying again up on the top. Oh, she's going to do this until I get up and walk out of the room so she can't see me and then she'll give up. But they aren't stupid. They're not dumb because they bite themselves. They're overzealous because they have such a strong feeding aggression. So I want to get out and you won't take me out and I'm determined to get out there with you. What's up, Sonny? <laughs> See, you're teasing me. You're mean. That just started raining. Oh, she's going non-stop. She's on a mission to get out. Like I said, she was fine until she saw me sitting here. Oh, dear me, huh? I guess I should get up and walk out of the room so you'll relax and calm down. I don't want you rubbing your nose, getting it sore. Which you've never done, but there's always a first time for everything. It's just to show you how determined she is to get out of here. Because she can see me sitting here. That's not a stupid animal. Now I walked out of the room and I walked away from Sunny so she couldn't see me anymore. And this is 15 minutes after I walked out of the room and she couldn't see me so she gave up on trying to get my attention to take her out. But this is what she was doing before she saw me sitting by her enclosure. And she just, just now noticed I'm back again by her tank. So she's, this is what she was doing before I walked in and sat down by her. And 10 minutes after I walked out of the room so she couldn't see me anymore, she settled right back down. So it just shows you, they do like to be with people. They do like to be out. And they are social animals and they enjoy being social animals. <laughs> 